Hey, what's up everybody? Abbas here from Golden Motor. We just got this BBS HD Bafang motor in for repair. Thought I'd make a video out of it. I got my surgery gloves right here. Let's do some surgery on this motor. All right, let me show you what's going on. Let me turn on the battery really quick. Okay, battery's on. Let me turn on the display. Display is on. And let me give it some throttle now and you'll see what the problem is. So, I don't know if you guys heard that, I'm gonna do it again. So the axle is not moving. You can hear the motor and then all of a sudden it stops. Display is still on. Okay, so I'm sure you heard that. I already tried out the controller with the new controller. Controller is good. Um, in the trio of the battery, motor, and controller, usually the first thing you want to go with is the controller because that's the weakest link. But in this case, the controller is not the issue. So the next thing we got to do is open up the drive cover. Uh, this houses the main steel gear and see if that's the issue. So I'm just going to open these six bolts up and I'll be right back. So I got the drive cover off, took off the six screws, and here is your main gear right here, the steel gear. I inspected the teeth and the issue doesn't seem to be here. It's moving pretty smoothly. Axle is good. It doesn't have enough grease, so I'm just gonna grease this up really nicely, but that's not the issue what's going on. I inspected the bearing that goes inside over here and that's good too. So the issue doesn't seem to be over here. Um, I don't think it's a sensor issue over here and this gear is good too. So I don't think the issue is on this side over here. Uh, if you're wondering where the, the paper gasket is over here, which makes a water seal, usually when you open the drive cover, uh, it rips in half. So just be careful. I mean, if you're opening this up, that is usually gonna go, but it's a cheap replacement, so we'll change it out. Okay, so I took off the controller over here and then I inspected the phase wires and they seem to be in good condition. The sensor wire seems to be in good condition. Um, so we have to open up the, the motor core over here. And the way to do that is um, usually there's grommets over here, which I just took out, and they're sealed with uh, silicone. And you just use some kind of tool to kind of peel the silicone back and just uh, take the grommets out. Uh, just a warning, you know, again, like when I, when I opened up the, the, um, the drive cover, the paper gasket went and over here the grommets usually they're they're um, they're likely to go so but they're a cheap replacement again so you can replace these later on um, if you're careful you might not have to but mine did uh, this one the rubber gasket is much more sturdier than the paper gasket so this one's still intact so I'm just gonna be careful with that and now I'm gonna open up the, the main uh, motor core Okay, so now I'm gonna open up this cover. This houses the main rotor and the nylon gear. There's four screws over here. Needs a three millimeter Allen wrench. And I will be opening that right now. Okay, so all the four screws are out. I'm gonna take off this cover. Just gotta jimmy it a little bit. There's a little indent over here. Just pull over there. There we go. Open it up. And then now these, you just gotta push these phase wires out. And there we go. Make sure not to break the rubber gasket. And here is your motor core. So this is the rotor right here, the shaft. Uh, phase wires look in pretty good shape. Don't think that's the issue. The plug for the hall sensor looks like it's pretty good shape. It's nice and greased up. Yeah, doesn't seem like this is the issue, but hey, the only way we eliminate that if this is not the problem, what I'm gonna do is hook up the controller to this and actually give it some throttle and see if the, the rotor works properly. So let's do that really quickly. Okay, so I got the controller hooked up. 
I have the three phase wires connected. Make sure your connection is good over here because we're gonna rule out the rotor. The hall sensor is connected. Okay, let's turn on the battery. Battery is on, connection seem good. Let's turn on the display. Okay, display is on. Okay, I'm gonna give it some throttle. It's a little bit loud, but bear with me, please. There we go. Okay. So the issue doesn't seem to be in the rotor because the shaft is working. It doesn't seem to be in the rotor. The last thing we have, so now this core right here. So the issue is somewhere in this core. We already inspected that this is this side is not the issue. So the only thing left is the nylon gear. If the nylon gear is not the issue, then we gotta figure out what's going on. But it's most likely the nylon gear. So um, let's open this up and check it out. To inspect the nylon gear, I have to take this uh, cover off. Let's take it off. So there's three screws over here. After you take out the three screws over here, you need three uh, M4 screws. And what you do is actually screw them in, in these three holes, one, two, three. And this will push against the nylon gear and up comes the cover. So you wanna screw it in until you feel a little bit of resistance. Uh, okay, resistance right there. Let's put on the other screw. And again, these are M4 screws. Just get this out to your local hardware store. Screw it in until you feel resistance. Okay, got resistance over there. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is uh, make a couple of um, turns for each screw and just a couple of turns don't do more than that because you want to put even pressure on the cover and as you can see the cover is starting to pop up Okay, cover is off. Let's inspect the nylon gear. Aha, aha. Ladies and gentlemen, I see the problem. Check out, let me show this on camera right here. I don't know if you can see. When I take out the nylon gear, you see a better picture, but it's, it's definitely damaged over here. Let me get a better picture on the camera. It's definitely damaged over here. So, I think that might be the issue. That's doing it. So let's take the nylon gear out now. Uh, it's usually held on by a snap pin. Get yourself some snipe, snap pin pliers. And let's do some fishing over here. Okay, once you get the snap pins in there, let's pull it apart. Okay, don't do that. Okay, once you got the snap pin pliers in, pull it apart, and the pin should come up. There's coming, it's coming, come on. There we go. Got the, the pin out right here. And next step is to ply up the nylon gear. So you use something like this, any kind of tool will work, but let's put it underneath. Pull it up, it should come up pretty simply. Then remove the rest of it by hand. Oh man, that's a pretty big damage right here. So let me show it to you on camera. So we're just gonna replace the nylon gear, grease it up, and see if that does the trick. Okay, so I have the brand new nylon gear over here. As you can see, both the sides are indented. Uh, this one is more indented. So this is the side that goes up. So I'm gonna grease this up nicely and then I'll be right back. 
The grease that I'm gonna be using for this is the white lithium grease. This grease goes on the nylon gear and then the shaft of the, the rotor has the same, uh, same grease. So I'm gonna grease these up and then I'll be right back. Okay, so the nylon gear is nice and greased up. I put a little bit of grease on the rotor also and let's just push this in. Remember the, the side that has the bigger indent, that's the side that goes up. So I'm just gonna push it in. There we go, all the way in. It's rotating pretty freely. Okay, now I'm gonna uh, put the pin on there and put the cover after that. And let's do that right now. Okay, so I got the new nylon gear installed. I put the snap pin in there and put the cover back on. I'm gonna quickly put everything back together before installing the, the paper gasket and then greasing up the, the main gear. I wanna make sure it works first. So I'm gonna quickly put everything back together. Okay, I quickly put everything back together now. Let me turn on the battery. Battery on. Let's turn on the display. Display on, so far so good. Okay, let's try this. Let's give it some throttle. Yes. Okay, so axle's moving properly. Everything's good. Let me just increase the pedal assist, make sure it works with increasing speed. Seems to be working. Let me just go all the way up to nine, make sure it works. It is, it is working. It is working. I just got an error 21. That just means the speed sensor is not uh, installed on it. But the motor is working now. Uh, it's a little bit loud because I still got to finish greasing up the, the main gear in here. Um, I'm going to finish it up by uh, putting the grommets in there and silicone in there so it makes it waterproof but this motor is ready to go all right that's it um, hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to give our uh, channel a like and a subscribe and we'll see you guys later